Hi guys, hi everyone. That's me, Robbie from AccentAdventure.com. Welcome to my another YouTube video. And today's subject is shame. Being ashamed of trying to sound like a native speaker, you know. And this is actually the biggest impediment that foreigners have when they have to speak in English, you know. They are basically ashamed of trying new sounds, you know. And I've come across this phenomenon many times when dealing with other people, you know. And I've noticed that people are just ashamed of trying to make that sound, you know, to produce that particular sound. For instance, the typical TH sound, like in think or the, the there are the two sounds, voiced and unvoiced, you know. The voiced one is the, like the, and the unvoiced is the, like think and thumb and words like that. So I've noticed that people don't actually try, you know. The simplest piece of, of advice is just to place your, the tip of your tongue between your teeth you know, like that, and and just push the air out of your mouth, you know, or th, for that matter, right? But this surprising percentage of people won't won't just do that, you know, because they are afraid of sounding stupid, you know, looking stupid, and they just won't do it, and they'll keep pronouncing the words wrong. Which is fine by me, as far as you're sounding reasonably, uh, reasonably fluent, you know. Say, for instance, if you pronounce the definite article, the, as the, it's fine. That's how people speak in Ireland, for instance. They don't say the, they say the, you know. But if you say ze, which is often the case with my native counterparts. I'm a Latvian myself by nationality and a lot of Latvians would say ze or thank you instead of thank you. You'd be much better off saying thank you. You know what I mean? It sounds much closer to the original pronunciation, right? But anyway, that's not today's subject. The subject is uh, so many foreigners are just afraid of trying how that sound is produced, you know? And that's the main reason why they never get round to speaking like natives, you know? Mastering a native-like accent and pronunciation is much easier than you may think. And if you're one of those foreigners who's uh, introvert and uh, afraid of trying out new things in general, you know, and whenever you hear Americans speak or other foreigners imitating Americans and you think that's not for me, I'll never gonna master that particular sound, I can't do that, you know, I wasn't born like that, you know, those people have a knack for accents and I'm not like that, it's all BS, you know. Everyone can master any accent. I'm pretty sure of it. You know why? Because we all human beings are made of after the same after the same blueprint, generally speaking. We have we all have two arms, two legs, one mouth, vocal cords, lips, tongue, and to produce a certain accent. You're not required to bend, twist your lips or tongue in a completely unnatural way for you. It's probably unnatural in a sense that you wouldn't have produced sounds in your native language the exact same way they would sound in American English, for instance. But everything is within the realm of possibility. You know, as a human, as a human being, an American, say for instance, an American and the Japanese per people, you know, the two different persons, 
like I bet that there's no way that an American person can bend or twist or whatever position their mouth in a way that that's not possible physically possible for a Japanese person it's probably difficult to master that you know more so f than for a European person probably for French Spanish person Latvian like me you know but it's possible nonetheless you know and uh, uh, I have a East European background you know I'm a Latin I also speak Russian and I've tried other languages and all those languages contain sounds which aren't actually present in my native language for instance let, let me bring you an example right in Russian there's a sound sh for instance the word sh we don't we, we Latvians don't have such a sound in our in our language we never see no none none of Latvian words contain the sound sh <laughs> but I can pronounce it because I learned it it's simple as that you listen to it you mimic it and eventually you can you can make it happen you know simple as that another sound uh, which is uh, which can be observed in, in Russian is mush it's a very deep throaty sound but if you try it real hard you'll eventually make it happen you know it, it might take you a day or two but you'll get there you know and same goes with uh, for instance German they have the choose sound like and uh, another ich 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 liebe dich probably I'm not getting the pronunciation a hundred percent perfect but anyway that's not a point the point is the ich, ich dich sound doesn't exist in my language yet I mastered it and I'm not I'm not very good I'm not particularly good at learning languages I'm not a polyglot I'm not I'm not, I'm not a genius I'm just someone who is not afraid of trying 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 until I eventually get it you know because that's the whole point of language acquisition accent acquisition for that matter you just have to try you've got to give your best shot and you'll get there you know and same goes with the American accent the letters are R is a very deep throaty sound you know many of my native counterparts will never master that sound only for one particular reason they're ashamed they're ashamed of what others will think about them when they hear they pronounce words in, in, in that particular way you know they're afraid of standing out of the crowd you know being laughed at and they're afraid of getting it wrong you know all those fears combined actually determine their failure you know they're doomed to fail because they never try they don't believe in themselves so the best piece of advice is you just gotta try without any inhib inhibitions like fear or shame or whatever it's not for you if you want to master different accents like an American accent or British accent or Australian for that matter whatever you know what I mean just gotta relinquish your fear completely you know okay thanks for watching me and uh, see you soon again in another video installment on my accent adventure YouTube channel bye